YouTubers, it's Tony here from 27 Cycles, Team Moto HD Racing. So we're taking a look at the bikes here. Um, we got Beaker Wheelies, aka the real Beaker. He, uh, this is his second time out here, the first time trying the shred pegs. Um, it's going to be interesting talking to him and how he feels about what it helps with and uh, how awesome they are. So how was the track? Fuck track prime right now. What do you uh, what do you think about the 27 cycle shred pegs? I think they're way fucking better than stock ones. <laughs> no, like for real, like they just put you in a totally different riding position. Like you're all the way forward now, you're up higher, it's easy to switch over and over. And for me personally, it's like a psychological thing. Like on the pegs that were lower as the stock ones, you start dragging them, you're like, alright, that's it done i can't turn anymore uh and i mean they can go f way further but psychologically you're like no and then it's pushing up on your boot and pushing into your primary on your pipe and it's just not comfortable you're not in the same position where you started at in the corner and then so on, the, on these things you don't you don't touch them fucking start hitting the primary again <laughs> but i hit the it means you're going peg, faster so, and you're leaning yeah, farther but i didn't yeah. hit the fucking peg yeah i'm not dragging my boot anymore cool man they're, they're fucking rad they're worth it for sure right on you, what, you, you've been out there four or five times now. You're getting used to this new track. Uh, what, what can you say for, for a newcomer coming out here to, that doesn't think they should be out here? Uh, I mean, just fucking try it. Just give it, give it one try. I guarantee you'll be hooked. I mean, if you like riding fast on the canyons, just come out here once. Don't let me try and fucking pursue you. Just come out here. That, that's, that's what's going to do it for you. out there on the track. <laughs> yes. Well, we're here with uh, the real Beaker, and uh, he's loading up after a track day. Track day number two in the books. Is it worth the drive? Oh, it's always worth the fucking drive. Right on. Doesn't seem like once you get home, but... <laughs> Man, that's awesome. What happened out there? You want to talk about it? I you had a little it's sketchy situation? A little bit. I kept wanting to push out a little bit, a couple times. I think tires just got a little bit hotter than, than I'm used to. Yeah, towards the end of the day, track warms up, shit gets a little slippery. One of these days we'll get Dunlop or somebody to make us some slicks to fit these. <laughs> Need someone to make a 17 or a 19 front. Yep, one of these or days. Yep. We'll fucking right, take it easy and we'll see you next time. Right, see you We've got Zach, the pilot, some shred pigs. Uh, where could you pick up a set of these? Uh, Shredmotoco.com. How was it out there? Great fucking time, man. How do you like the track? I like it. Once I get to know the track a little better, I'll have more and more fun, but... Did, how is it different than the last track you were on? It's definitely way faster, or will be way faster. But because of that, I mean, we can come in the turns a lot quicker, higher gear, come out of them, get them a lot faster. A little bit more freedom, a little less technical than Streets of Willow. Yeah. Streets of Willow is just meant to... It's like going to the gym, it's just meant to beat you up. Yeah, yeah. This one, it's just about fun. And just yeah, like yeah. more wide open. Yeah. Wide open, yeah. Good shit, so, man. How's the bike running? Good, good. Yeah, like I said before, like these shred pegs make a world of difference from what I was on. Even on the street, my, the other pegs that I was using would just drag. And I've been through like three different pit, set of pegs. Now you have no problem? And Oh yeah, way better. Shit. I mean, it takes real work to be able to scrape them. Are you scraping them out here on this track? Yeah, I did a little bit, but the more I lean off the side of the bike, the less it'll do that more to turn in. So there you go. But, Good shit, dude. Yeah. Well, glad yeah. to see you.
see you back. Well, you went off the track, huh? <laughs> yeah, I did. Yeah. What happened? I braked super late and it kind of wobbles, so I didn't want to wobble while turning. So I slid up on it. By the time I was pinned towards the edge, went off. Went dirt biking for a little minute. He's got some more experience dirt biking. I mean, you went off the track, got back on the track, continued riding. What would that have been like if you were in the canyons? Uh, very expensive and bad day. Yeah, I've never gone off the road. I haven't, I haven't crashed like that. It's better to do it out here. It was pretty easy. I just got back on in seconds. No one even blinked. I think there, there was one guy that was behind me and he was like, where did this guy come from? The dirt. <laughs> kept it so on two was, wheels, kept riding, no yeah, fucking big deal. Going. Just rear brake only and just keep straight, don't try to turn. I got slowed up, I just turned right back towards the track. They didn't even yellow flag or nothing. No, it happens. No, it's, but you know, this is the place to do that kind of shit. Oh, yeah. You know, it's like, uh, try doing that shit on the canyon road, bro. You're either in a fucking, you're either in a car or you're in a fucking cliff. You know? Skateboard. So. Yep. Yeah. So. That's a fucking perfect reason to get your fucking ass out to the racetrack and stop fucking around and uh, come see what you got. Real deal shit out here.